I'm going to play a game of solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. I hope this will give you a good idea of what it's like to play the game. If you're new to it, there is a link below the video to a lesson playlist and a player reference. Download that player reference so you can follow along because I'll be talking about the different scoring elements for the game. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed and built into walls next to these risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left in the wall. I'm going to deal the tiles. Player one, which is east, will get 14, and then south, west, and north will get 13 each. Everybody has their tiles. We are going to see what we can do for each of these players. But first, I wanna talk about point minimums. When you play online at Mahjong time, you can have anywhere from a zero point minimum to an, I believe an eight point minimum. So I think for this particular exercise, we'll say that there's a three fawn minimum. When I play in private games, we usually have a two to four fawn minimum. So that's kind of middle of the road. So we'll say three fawn minimum. Also, we're going to say that it is the East round. The game is played in four rounds, if you don't already know. So this will be the East round. Let's see what we can do for player one, which is also called East or the dealer. We have a one flower. We're gonna get score for that already. This is player one, so we get one fawn for that. I'm gonna go ahead and get a replacement tile. So for three fawn minimum, we need to come up with two more fawn in here. We have enough tiles. Right now we have one, two, three potential pungs. Pungs are three of a kind. Any pair is a potential pung. So I think I would hold the eights for as long as possible, but probably I would hope to pung the dragon. This is a white dragon. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. So I'm hoping to pung that and then maybe play a half flesh. But I'm gonna hold this for as long as possible because we could also play all pung, which is three fawn. So I think I would start by discarding these three. Let's see what we can do for South. South has their own flower too. <gasps> There's another one. So they have two fawn. We need one more fawn. We could play all chow. All chow is only one fawn. You can mix suits with all chow. Since we have our own flowers, two of them, we could play all chow, which is one fawn. That would be a total of three fawn. There's a potential chow. There's a potential chow or here. This is isolated. That's isolated and here's a pair. So there's work to be done there, but I think unless we pair up the red or the east, all chow might be the best route, route for them. Let's see what we can do for West. Okay, four of each suit. Really, all chow is gonna be the best for them. They have no flowers right now, that's one fawn. So if we stay with no flowers, that would be one. All chow would be two. We would need two of our own flowers and then all chow, or we would need to focus on pairing up. We do have two pair here, play all pung maybe, maybe get rid of these first so that we could focus on either all pung or cracks or dots. So they're gonna be at a disadvantage, I think, 
in their particular situation because of this split and not having any flowers. Let's see what happens. We're going to see what we can do now for north. They're in about the same predicament. They have no flowers and they have a mixture too. They have four cracks, three dots, three bams, and then some honors. It is the east round and they do have their, their seat wind. If we can pair those up and maybe pung, that might help with score. They do have a little bit of chow potential here, right here. Those are each potential chows. All chow again is only one fawn. With no flowers and all chow, that's only two fawn. So that's not gonna be enough to qualify to win. So they're gonna have to either pair up or focus on one suit with honors. So we'll see. That, that means they're gonna have six discards if they go with the major suit, which at this point is cracks. Just because there's one more We'll see what happens. We can start by discarding for East though, right here, four crack. And I'm gonna use this just to mark whose turn it is. We can already chow right here. Let's go for a quick win, maybe. We're gonna see if we can chow Let's get rid of the East. We're going for all chow, no pungs. Let's draw for West. White dragon, that might help if we get a pair. So let's see, we're going to, we need to focus on pairing up maybe. Let's discard this two bam. And now we can draw for north. Six bam. Six bam. Let's get rid of the dots because now we have an equal number of bams and cracks. Let's get rid of the eight dot. That would be isolated anyway. Okay, we're going to draw for east now. Oh, wait, eight dot. We could chow. Chow the eight dot. We're gonna play half flush. Dragon Pung. Let's discard the eight crack. And now we're gonna draw for player two or south. Eight bam. Okay, so they have a chow out and here now we have two pair. We can't switch them to Pungs because we have a chow out already. We're looking to chow. Let's discard the red dragon. We need to chow. We're gonna draw up here now for west. Nine crack. Okay. So we have a pair, pair. We need to pair those up or play all chow. Even if they play all chow, they have no flowers. That would be too fun. We need score from somewhere. I'm thinking either pungs or half flesh. We need to get rid of the bams. And up here we can draw. This is out of order. We could chow with that five bam, but that would leave an isolated five. We already have a chow with a five bam. I think I would stay concealed and try to draw something better. Red dragon. There is one out, but let's go ahead and get rid of the three dot. And now we can draw four east. Let's chow though. And we can get rid of the one bam. Drawing now four south. Nine crack. We need to chow. So that was good because now we have an eight nine here. Let's discard the west and draw for west. One crack. Let's get rid of the six bam and draw for north. Two bam. 
Okay, now we have one more dot we can get rid of before we have to start whacking away at the cracks, I think. Let's chow. <laughs> wow, they're really moving along here. We're going to discard 8-bam. Eight bam was discarded. You might think, well, we could pung it, but we are already committed to chows because we have a four, five, six crack chow out. We need to draw two dot. That's not very helpful. We need chows. These are isolated. That's isolated. We need to draw in chow potential to break these up. One of these can become a pair. So let's go ahead and discard the two dot. And draw for west. Oh, they got a flower. That's a four flower, that's not there. So they basically just lost their no flower fawn. Seven bam. We need to do maybe cracks or pungs. Let's discard the seven bam and draw up here. Okay, same thing, five, six. They already have a five, six, seven bam, a one, two potential chow. Let's draw, oh, three flower. That's not theirs though. So that is not gonna bring them any score. Two crack, that's not helpful. We want maybe bams, we gotta pick. They have a potential chow here, potential chow. They have a chow here and a potential chow. We have to choose. Uh, half flush is three fawn. They have one flower, but it's not there. So we have to pick a suit. Since West is discarding BAMs, let's get rid of the one crack and focus on BAMs. Maybe we can get some chows out of West. Let's go ahead and draw for East. 7 bam. Looks pretty, but it's not helpful. Drawing 4 south. 1 bam. Okay, we need tiles in here. Let's discard the 1 bam. That's an edge tile, so there's not a lot of flexibility there. The inner tiles, 2 through 8, are better than 1s and 9s. Because the ones and nines are on the edge, you can only get a seven, eight, nine, or a one, two, three. Versus the the inner tiles, you have a lot more flexibility there. So let's draw for west. Four dot. Okay, now we got a little hope here. We have one, two, three pair. All pung is three fawn. Let's see if we can get them to all pung, and discard that nine bam. Nobody can take a nine bam, so let's draw four north. Eight dot, that's not helpful for us. Eight dot, and we're gonna draw down here. Six bam. Drawing four south. Five crack. All right, we need to fill in some gaps here. These are isolated. Okay, I think we should get rid of the two crack. And see if we can get some chow potential out of the fives. Let's draw for west. Two crack. Okay, now we have a one, two. We're looking for pungs here. So let's discard what's been thrown. There's an eight crack out, one crack, two crack. Let's discard the two crack. And we can draw four north. Nine bam, that's good for them. We need to get rid of these. Let's discard the two crack. And we just got through the Second wall, we're heading into the third wall, so we're in the middle game now.
we're going to draw for east. Three dot, that's our suit. We can keep that and discard the eight bam. Let's draw for south. Three bam, that is what I was hoping for because now we have a potential chow. So we could use this as our pair. Potential chow, pair. These are potential chows. Let's get rid of the five dot. And draw for west. Nine bam, discard. And we can draw for north. Three crack, that's not good. We gotta discard Drawing that. Drawing for east. One crack, that's not a keeper for them. South, green, green dragon. We're looking for chows, that's not gonna help them. And we'll draw now for west. Four flower. They got a south. We're looking to Pung. A south is not their seat. This is west seat and it's east round. Let's get rid of it now. Let's draw four north. Two bam, that is a keeper for them. So these bams came in. We still have work to do though. There's a potential chow, potential chow, potential pung, or potential chow. One, two, three. They need to pair up. Let's get rid of the four crack. And draw four east. Six dot. That south was discarded. Let's go ahead and discard that and draw four south, four crack. Okay, we need all chows, so we filled it a gap there. Potential chow, potential chow, potential there, pair. Let's discard the four bam. So they're ready to chow. They have two of their own flowers. That's two fawn and all chow is one fawn, so that would meet the minimum. So we threw a four bam, let's draw four west. Three bam, that's not a keeper. Three bam, they're finally ready to chow. And we can discard a seven crack. Whoops, oh my goodness, making a big mess. We're discarding a seven crack. And it would be east turn, but we're going to pung it for west. So we're going to commit them to pungs. We got a pair here, here. A green dragon was thrown. There's one, one cracks are out. Let's throw that. And we can draw four north. Five dot. Five dot was thrown and nobody took it. So let's get rid of that. We're gonna draw four east. They got a west, that's already out. Drawing for south. Nine bam. Okay, let's see here. We need chow, chow, chow. We need a pair in there. Let's stay where we are and throw the nine bam. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for west. Two dot, there's a two dot out, I believe, let's see here, four crack, there are two four cracks out, let's throw that. And we're gonna draw four north, eight crack, that's a pair, but we need to get them to bams for a half flush. Let's throw the eight crack, eight crack, nobody can take it. We're gonna draw for east. Four bam, that's a discard for them. Drawing for south. Nine crack. We don't need another pair, we need to chow. Chow, potential chow, potential chow. That's not a chow yet, that's a potential chow. 
Let's get rid of the nine crack. Nobody can take it, so we're gonna draw for west. Two bam. Let's draw four north. Eight dot, discard. Drawing for east. This player is in dots, but they're not ready for those tiles. Oh, one dot, nice. Let's discard the six dot. That is kind of a warning tile to the table. If they're in dots and they discard a dot, that means they're, they have everything they need and that dot is not needed in their hand. So they're probably in a waiting pattern. In this case, they are, they need a two dot to win. So keep your eye on the one suit hands and what they're discarding. So we're gonna draw now for south. By bam, that was a good keeper for them, finally. So now we have one, two, three, four sets and a pair. Oh, they have a chow out already. So we need to give something up. They have a side weight here, which is strong. They have two edge weights, so we should give up on one of those. Let's let's go ahead and discard the nine crack and draw four west seven dot there's a pung let's give up the nine crack and we can draw four north red dragon okay they paired up one of their honors finally Let's discard the eight crack and we can draw for east, north. We can discard that, north. Nobody can take a north, so we're gonna draw for south. Six crack, chow, pair, chow. Discard the eight crack. They're ready to win on a seven dot. So we're gonna draw four west, two crack. We can discard that and draw four north, three flower. Two dot, discard. That's a risky tile and it happens to be Mahjong for this player. Okay, we have their own flower here. Chow, 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 pear. One, one, two, three, four sets in a pair. That would be a half flush and all chow. So that's four fawn plus their flower is five fawn. For a five fawn hand, these two players would pay 2,000 each. So there's 2,000 each. And then this player would pay double. So that would be 4,000. I hope that gave you a good idea of what it's like to play Mahjong. If you already know how to play and you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. I think it's really great to focus on decision making and building your hand and also reading discards. In this particular case, there were three sets out all in dots for East. So throwing any dot was gonna be really risky. So really player North probably should have folded and played defense. They actually cleared to one suit with honors, which is a half flush, which would have been a nice score, especially with a pair of dragons. Would you have folded or would you have discarded that too? I think it's worth the risk. 
I think I would have thrown it. In some circles, if you have three exposed chows or pungs in one suit and the hand is for all one suit and they win, whoever threw that tile has to pay for the whole table. In this case, it didn't really matter because the hand was just a half flush, but the potential is there. So always make sure that you're looking at not only the discards, but the exposures as well. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.